All right, I'm outside, so hopefully the wind doesn't doesn't pick up the wind too awful much. All right, so anyway, I did a short on this. I wanted to get it uploaded really quick. This is going to be a little bit longer version, not super long, but I just wanted to, to add a little bit more information. And several weeks ago, David Robertson, who is... Kylie Rodney's grandpa got a hold of me uh, requesting my assistance with something which I am not at liberty to discuss right now but he just asked for my help he had my email uh, he sent it to my old email the I'm okay but you suck email so I didn't see it because I don't check that email anymore I just happened to check it by chance and saw his email that he had sent me had been sitting there for probably a week so anyway I got back in touch with him anyway he wanted my help on something so we've been back and forth in contact and so when I saw this what Kylie's family thinks and also somebody who watched the video told me that he made the statement in the video that he had spoken with Kylie's family which is absolutely false I specifically asked David have you spoken with Jeff or has anybody else in the family spoken with Jeff and he said no that I was the only one who they had contacted and he said and that was just for this one specific thing that they've actually had no reason now I know he spoke before with Squirrel Girl but that was that was a, a while back but recently he said that I am the only one that they have spoken with Huh, interesting that they trusted me enough to get a hold of me, but they didn't get a hold of Jeff, did they? Well, anyway, bottom line is that, again, Jeff is lying. He's making up a bunch of bullshit that's not true. I asked him about this great aunt, and he, has, he said, he didn't know who I was talking about. So, so apparently it's one of those mystery ants that's been hiding in the closet for all these years. It finally comes out that the family doesn't even know about. It. Imagine that. Yeah, it's just one more thing from Jeff's demented mind to try to spin a story to try to keep you guys sending him money. That's the only damn reason that he is doing it. To keep you guys sending him money. So yeah, according to Kylie's grandpa, Jeff has never spoken to the family. He has no idea who Jeff is. Well, he does now. Uh, he also said that the billboard thing, which I would basically say the same thing, would be a waste of money. We're not talking about a huge metropolis over there, people. We're talking a pretty small area where everybody knows everybody. Everybody already knows anything that we'd be putting on a billboard asking people for help. They're already aware of it. And so it would just be a waste of money to do so. Now, if you want to go ahead and waste your money, it's not my money. I don't care. You can go ahead. But I can guarantee you right now, you'll send Jeff the money. He'll pocket it. And then he'll come up with some excuse as to why we just couldn't get the billboards going. All right. It's the same crap that I told you back when last year when he did the screw go fund me. I told you guys exactly how it was going to go. And you people didn't listen to me. But so far, everything that I have said 
has turned out to be true. Everything I prophesied, so to speak, has come to pass. So I would think by now that you guys would start realizing I know what the hell I'm talking about. I've proven that Jeff's a liar. I've proven that Jeff's a scammer. And this is just one more piece of evidence. Comes on there and spins the story saying he's talked to her family and he has not talked to her family. It's a lie. All right, so I don't know how much I, else I can say about that other than it's a lie. <laughs> it's made up bullshit. All right, something else that really irks me. And I'm not, I actually had somebody else bring this to my attention. This is unbelievable. And all it is is a, just one more money making deal for him. Kylie Rodney trivia? Are you shitting me? Are you effing serious? Oh my word, you people are fucking sick. You're absolutely sick. And then you, somebody down here makes a comment, what a creative way to keep her name out there. You, whoever it is that made this comment, you are an absolute moron. You have no common sense, you have no discernment. Yeah, let's keep Kylie's memory out there all the ways that you could do it for free. No, let's think of a way that we basically trivialize her. Do you realize how disgusting and how degrading and how demeaning this is? Yeah, and let's make sure and come up with something for Jeff to make money. <laughs> Can you answer? I mean, this is, this is just, oh, what an absolute bag of shit absolutely you know that's one bag of shit I'd stomp on and light on fire I mean this to me is this is the most atrocious thing not the most atrocious thing I've ever seen but damn close Kylie Rodney's a, he turned her into a freaking game show this is just sick this is absolutely sick. This shows a total lack of common sense on his part. And if you people are participating in it, on your part as well. I cannot believe that people are this damn stupid. I mean, just when I thought that I'd seen the most stupid people, this ups it another level. I mean, this takes stupidity and ignorance to another level. Kylie Rodney trivia? This just makes me sick. And it should make you sick, too. What a creative way to keep her name. There, there are a hell of a lot of other ways that are a hell of a lot more respectful and free to keep her name out there, just like I've tried to do by every once in a while making a video that I don't charge for. Unbelievable. You people are absolute scum. I mean, anybody that would make a statement like this, what a creative way to keep her name out there, that just shows the, the level of intelligence that Jeff's followers have and why they are his followers because you don't have a freaking brain in your head you're dumber than a damn fence post I mean this is just this is just sickening it's sickening when are you people going to realize that this guy is a very sick individual that he's a scammer a liar which I have Proven over and over and over and over and over. It's about time you dumbasses listen to me. Ah, oh, this pisses me off. As if you couldn't tell. Somebody showed me this, and I just like... I tell you what, it's a good thing that he doesn't live in my neighborhood. 
Because I'd probably go over there and kill him right now. No, I wouldn't kill him, but I'd sure beat the shit out of him. That's for damn sure. And don't think I couldn't do it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. This is just, this is sick. This is... Um, anyway. I just... I'm at a loss for words. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this other than it's just, it's perverted. It's sick. It, it takes... I, I'm going to show this. I'm going to show this to, to David. I'm going to I'm going to email him this thumbnail. I'll guarantee you he'll blow a freaking gasket. That's his granddaughter that you're doing this to, Jeff. You asswipe. Freaking bag of shit. This is somebody's granddaughter that you're trivializing and turning her into a damn game show uh, unbelievable unbelievable anybody that would do some shit like this just shows you how what a low life what a low life piece of shit imbecile they are just when I think he couldn't sink any lower Oh, I'm sure he can go lower still. Yeah, because I would imagine he's probably used to being on, being on his knees. Anyway. That's it. I, I can't. I can't. I can't hack this. This is just. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on. And what a perverted, despicable, j just garbage move. Total garbage move. Unreal. All right, that's it. I'm out.